San Francisco is still a melting pot and still brings together not just the best of like the Bay Area. It's got a lot of flavor and it's pleasant. It's still cool. So many great people, so many interesting things going on. You know, I mean, but again, this is a food trip, so let's talk about the food. And food was amazing. Food was amazing. We checked in the Hilton San Francisco Financial District, which is conveniently located at the crossroads of the Financial District, Chinatown, and North Beach. So I walked to a create your own poke bowl shop right outside our hotel called Ohana and grabbed a bowl for takeout and just ate in my hotel room. One of San Francisco's oldest delis and most highly rest- rated restaurants, Molinari Delicatessen. So yeah, Molinari Delicatessen just happened to be a 10 minute walk from our hotel. So it's a treasure trove, um, but we were hungry. And so we wanted the best of it and fast. So we all, we ordered the special Italian combo sandwich they had there on their board. And that was really good. So yeah, just down the street from Molinari was a baked bear which served ice cream. Yeah, so the baked bear which served ice cream. So we shopped by for some delights on the walk back to the hotel. Interestingly, when I think of top places I wanted to go back in San Francisco, they were all seafood places. I was keen on crab and lobster from San Francisco. And one place that always, you know, I, I dream about, uh, it's this cult classic, uh, Tan Long Restaurant. Roasted crab, whole Dungeness crab roasted with Tan Long's garlic sauce and secret recipes. Secretly good. Then there's RNG, which you know is just across from our hotel. Uh, it's classic Cantonese food, you know, and this was one of the first restaurants I ever tried in San Francisco that never left my mind. To be more specific, the live crab with salt and pepper, their signature dish. And then there's Barcha. So Barcha is a modern spot for Mediterranean eats in an arty, upbeat atmosphere. Plus happy hour and patio seating, yeah. Blue bottle coffee. So, I mean, already, you know, I would say a household name. Um, This is considered a major player in third wave coffee. So they offer premium coffee made from freshly roasted beans. Then we have New England Lobster Market and Eatery. So this is in Burlingame, San Francisco. This is further from where we are, but I mean, we're, we're further from our hotel, but it's close to the airport. So this could be a good first or last stop, depending on where you're going to be in San Francisco. But yeah, just just a tip. So this place has been supplying the Bay Area with fresh Maine lobster and Dungeness crab and other seafood delicacies for decades. So I had their lobster corn chowder and their Dungeness crab sandwich. And I was in heaven, you know, I was with good friends, good food. What else can you ask for? It's amazing. Cotonio is an Italian restaurant known for its house made pastas, spit oven and grilled meats and seafood roasted in the restaurant's wood burning oven. I had to start this raviolo di ricotta, right? So yeah, it was really good. It was really good, very, very good, nice and tasty. Simple but yum, yum, you know, very good. Hino Dea Ramen Bar, so this was I think our first dinner because it was right by the hotel and it was right there and I was looking for ramen. And then places, you know, you've got Koit Tower. Koit Tower is a slender white concrete column rising the top of Telegraph Hill. So Koit Tower has been an emblem of San Francisco skyline since its completion in 1933. So. The Great Highway, one of San Francisco's most beautiful stretches. It was transformed into a promenade so people could could walk, you know, during the pandemic. Um, It's just a beautiful coastal road at the edge of the continent.